Yes? Do you have another towel? No? No. Bring two, always, when you come to class, two towels, okay, not only two large towels or whatever you're using, whether that's some of you using different kinds of drapes, um, but also bring with you a little towel, because the little towel is going to be important now. Has anyone got one I can borrow? The little one. And can I use this one on the chip? Is that okay? And your, why would a little towel be quite useful to you? I love it when you all mumble at once. Cover the feet. Hey? Cover the feet. It can be Mummy, used for extra. Supported. You could Covered. use a little towel to cover areas if if they're cold. Absolutely. For support. Support. Where would you use a little uh, towel for support? Yeah, you might well use it. We talked last time about the. Um, <laughs> About the position of the head, did we not? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a pillow as well for under your knees? That little knees, that one. We're underneath. doing really well here. Okay. Yes. Can I use this? Yeah, one? you can do whatever you like. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> next time you're going to be a mum. Sorry. <laughs> well, sheets work. Okay, if you haven't got space for bulky towels, sheets are quite useful, okay? And they take up a lot less space. So we talked about the head position and sometimes you need something to help with the head and you might use it there. Works quite well, doesn't it? And it still gives you access to it. But he's okay with that, right? <coughs> you okay with that? How do I know that? Ask him. <laughs> I know that. You can see that his head's comfortable on the on the table. And what is it that tells you that? The neck position. The what, what position is it that tells you that? The, the angle of the neck. The angle. The, the angle of the neck. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What and um, what would give me an, an idea that it might need something under it? If it's if it's ex hyperextended, so just let the neck go loose and that's it. So if he's like that, yes. I might need to put something on his head. And why might his head be like that? Can you lift your knees up for me? Any ideas why his head might be in that position? Extra kyphosis. Yeah, so there might be an issue with the thoracic spine, so the thoracic spine might be curved, which means that the head starts to do this, and that becomes obvious when they lie face down. So the other thing we've got here is a pillow under the knees. Yes, why do we do that? Support. I love the mumbling, it's great. Support. <laughs> Lower back. Lower back, how does that help? It takes the pressure off. Yeah, raising the knees takes the pressure off the lower back area. We know this, and that's one of the things you might have been thinking about when we did that uh, role plays, how to position someone on the couch so that they're really comfortable. Okay, and if there's any back issues at all, higher, you know, a deeper pillow under the knees is actually better. Okay, right. So we, I've noticed I've turned the towels around, so the towel may have been like that, and then I'm actually going to take the bottom towel out and put it on top. Okay, that just makes that a lot easier. I'm going to work on one leg. I'm just thinking which leg's going to be easier for you to see. Right? As you're all ready? Okay, let's come round. And so why else am I going to need this? You're not sure yet, are you? No. Okay, it might become clear. So I always have a little towel. I actually have a few little towels around when I'm working. I find them really useful. The other thing I might have used a little towel for is to uh, um, is to use on top of a pillowcase, so I'm not having to keep washing the pillowcase. Okay, mm. things to consider. Now I need access to his leg, so one of the first things I might do is, is actually move the leg. Yeah, I'm gonna 
fold the front towel over and just tuck it to, for his modesty and then tuck the top towel into the pant line. I think you're going to recognise most of this stuff because it's very similar to everything else you've already done. So what's the first thing we might do? Effleurage. Effleurage and add the oil and I'm going to need a bit more. So the movement is the same as you're used to, it's forward on that front leg, back on the back leg, you can pull through. How much time am I going to spend on effleurage? <coughs> Not too much. Not too much time. There's a lovely drainage stroke that I really like. I call this dragon's mouth. Okay? And it means that this V fits so nicely up the tibia. So, and I can use my body to actually lean in. How does that feel, Mira? Good. Good. Do you see that? It's quite useful. It's useful on the back of the leg as well. See that, Mira? Okay for pressure? Yeah. You can press more. Okay. okay, so that's useful. There's not an awful lot on the front of the leg, is there? Well, what have we got that we can work into? Do you know what this muscle here is? Tibialis. Tibialis. Anterior. Anterior, yeah. So this muscle here is quite useful to work into a little bit. A lot of people have problems here. People have problems here if they have flat feet. People have problems here if they're wearing the wrong shoes when they're running. Yeah? Feel all right there? Yeah. Okay. It can be very, very tender, so be careful. Okay. So then we're coming up to the upper leg. Effleurage, petrissage movements. What petrissage movements do you know? Mm. No. Mm. Ringing. We can do ringing. We can do ringing very nicely on the upper thigh. What else did you say? Rolling. Rolling movements. Forwards, back. What else might we have? Leading. Using the knuckling. Rob, I think I heard your yeah. voice. Leading. Huh? Leading. Leading. Yeah. So I might use my knuckles, I might use flat fists, as you've done before. I might reinforce that. Are you okay? Sure? Too much? Okay. I might reinforce that. So this is my knuckles. I'm just going over an area here that's a little tight. I don't know whether... Yeah, can you just catch that with the camera? Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. So as I go over that area, you're just seeing that little bump. So I just felt that. So, okay, let's do a little bit more on the petrissage side. So kneading, you said, Rob, yes? Kneading movements, twisting, ringing, all of these things. And then actually, because I felt that, I really want to move into that area a little bit more. Now, these are habits that I have that I need to explain to you. The problem is here, and I just moved his leg over a little so I can get into there a little bit more. Did you see that? <coughs> These are things I must remember to explain to you. Hey guys, okay. you're very far. Come, come to the other side here. You can barely see anything, especially yeah. those that uh, um, Sally's on the back to you. So come around, you can see a lot more from here. So, okay. so that's Christian, beginning no, to come around. Come soften because up. Because you really need to see a what lot is more. it? It's just tight. The, the, the bump. It's just tight muscle. Is it? It's on your quad. Yes. It doesn't hurt. It's no, it doesn't have to hurt. It's just a whole area that's a bit tight. We're going to do some other uh, techniques later on today, and hope remind me because I'm already doing it a little bit. But remind me, and I'll kind of show you uh, how they fit in together. The iliotibial band, really worth working.
up the side there. You can use your forearms. Have we done much of that yet? No. 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 Okay, so the important thing if you're going to use your forearm is to let that wrist go nice and loose and just use it as a tool, okay? Mm -hmm. And remembering that that's going to be a little bit firmer for them. Okay. All right. So, fingers reinforced, thumbs reinforced. We've done all of that. Knuckles reinforced. So if I'm going into that area with, with a little bit more precision and a little bit more depth, then I'm going to lean in. Remember the principle of the stiletto and the platform shoe. Now is more of a stiletto. Okay? Good. Good. And when I've done any work like that, what might I do? A little bit more effleurage. Uh, and around the knee. Knee, what do you think is useful around the knee? Compression. Compression stroke. So again, you might use reinforced thumb, reinforced finger. Just literally taking your digits around the kneecap. The kneecap will move. It should move. <laughs> it does move. Okay, so it moves when you work around it, which can feel a little weird when you first start doing things like that. But good to work around all those ligaments and attachments. Okay. What attaches here? The tibia. The tibia is here. The tibia is here. That's the bone. Do you know what muscles attach here? Quads. Quads. Who said that? Hey, Callum. <laughs> well done. Okay. How do the quads attach here? Through the patella. Absolutely. So the patella is what? What kind of bone? Sesamoid bone. So it's in the middle of the tendons of the tendon of the quadriceps. And that attaches there. Okay. Where's my little towel? So what might I need a towel for? Anything. <laughs> I might need it under here. I might need it if I'm, I'm... I was thinking of the other way around, actually. I, okay, here's where I might need it. <laughs> I might use it here. <coughs> okay? What would I be able to reach if I do this? <laughs> okay, so I might want to oil and use that round the back. I'll come in a bit more. And also, if I bend his knee, that relaxes those muscles in there the hamstrings, so I might use this technique. So you see how useful a towel is? You all right with that? Just rest on my shoulder. Just yep. rest it. Good, that's better. Nice and relaxed now. Okay. So I might use it like that. I might also have his leg up and I might just sit on the edge of it. Now what can we do? Calf, yeah. Okay. So I might work in here in the calf muscles. I haven't put any oil on, but I'm just showing you. So I might just get into there. I might bring here. I might do some real ringing stuff in here. Okay, so all sorts of options for you. I might use his leg. I might change the position of the um, of the pillows and, and actually be able to work this way a little bit more directly. So instead of having the pillow here, put it here and work in there. I might also bring his leg out using the pillow. Let go a little bit. That's it. That's it. And now I can work the adductors. Yeah? Any questions? Same process. You okay? Same process. So moving the leg itself. Do you want to do anything else? Stretching? Probably enough. Enough. Or yeah. Anything you
you haven't seen before, apart from the positions? <coughs> Anything? No. Good. Good. So it's using all the skills you already have and just learning to adapt them. And the foot. I mean, the foot is the same. It's very similar to the hand. Okay? Round into the metatarsals. Each toe. Some people are very ticklish around their feet, so be aware of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And into the fascia on the bottom of the feet. So, a very important area, actually. So, just working with knuckles into the sole of the foot, hand on top, to give you some resistance. Okay? Good. Think you can handle that? <coughs> yes. Marvellous. Go. Thank mm -hmm.